Make sure you disconnect the ground terminal, red arrow, from the battery before you begin this project and place it somewhere where it cannot make accidental contact back with the post while you are working. You will need to remove the two air inlet ducts, red arrows, as well as the front engine cover, yellow arrow. Remove each duct by compressing them towards the engine, red arrow, and slipping them off the air inlet. With the ducts off, remove the front engine cover. It pulls up and away from the engine, yellow arrow. The cover is held on by five clips, red arrows, and will easily come off with hand pressure. Note you will need to remove the fan from the car at this point. Please see our article on fan removal by following the link at the end of this video and then return here. You're going to need to remove the drive belt. This is a picture that shows you the routing of the belt. The tensioner is shown by the red arrow. Note the front of the car has been removed to give you a better view, but you do not need to do that. If you're reinstalling the belt, make sure to mark the direction of rotation first. Then locate the tensioner and using a torque driver, turn it counterclockwise 45 degrees. You can now slip the belt off the tensioner. You can also lock the tensioner into the open position if you need both hands to install the new belt. Turn the tensioner all the way counterclockwise and insert a retaining pin between the rotating part and the tensioner base. If you do not have a retaining pin, you can use a 5mm Allen. With the belt off, you can begin working on the alternator. The alternator is held to the engine by two bolts as indicated by the red arrows. Use an E14 torque red arrow and remove the two bolts. There is a spacer that is pressed in the mount, green arrow, that you may or may not have to press out a little to get the new alternator installed. The rear nut, yellow arrow, is part of the block and will not fall into the engine compartment when you loosen the bolt. Lower the alternator down a little so you can get access to the connections on the back. Unplug the harness, yellow arrow, pull the plastic cover off the cable connector, red arrow, and use a 15 millimeter socket to remove the cable. You can now slide the alternator out of the engine. You do not need to remove the auxiliary coolant hose, red arrow, but you will need to move it out of the way. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.